it's Amanda and I'm coming to you with another fun pen friend mail unboxing. Um, today we have um, some awesome stuff from our friend Casey and I wanted to kind of show everything. Um, I'm hiding her address. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna open this off camera. I've just sliced it open. I haven't seen what's inside. Um, but yeah, actually let me make sure that her address is not showing. And then um, yeah, so hopefully we can see what's going on. I have Pearl like all up in my business right now. Boop, boop, boop. Um, yes, so yay, packing paper, excellent. Packing paper, excellent. So I'm gonna move this so it's not in the way. Looks like we have um, some, ooh, some washi tape, fun and um, a letter that I'll read later, and a little note card that I'll read later, and oh, some stickers, some happy cat stickers. Oh, cute, from Rebecca Danger. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I didn't know she had stickers. I love stickers. Okay, yay. Um, yes, that's awesome. And some awesome washi, and I'm so excited. And I think, if I am guessing correctly, that we have some samples here. I think, I think that's it. I think this is just packing material. If I'm wrong, I'll search it before I recycle it. And um, yes, so awesome. So let's see what we have here. I'm very excited. I'm currently on my lunch break from work and that's pretty awesome. Um, we have some Birmingham Pen Company, George Ferris Jr. World Fair Blue. Some Robert Oster Oster Terracotta. Some Colorverse Coffee Break. Some Birmingham Pen Company Sport Donnelly Grass Stain. These are fun. Birmingham Pen Company Bob Prince Green Weenie. That's awesome. Papier Plume Bayou Nightfall. That's awesome. I really love Papier Plume inks. Like I haven't like written with any, but just like the sampling process has been amazing. Birmingham Pen Company Jane Gray Swiss Helm Daisy Lace. Pretty. And then Colorverse Walk the Dog. That's awesome. Thank you, Casey. All right, so I have time to swatch these. I actually have a swatching video from the last inks that I got that, um, well, today's Thursday when I'm doing this, so that will go up today. I just have to um, get the video together. But in the meantime, we're gonna swatch the ones that we have here, and then this will just go up um, on a different day. So, yay, yay. Okay. So I am set up. Let me make sure that my brushes are good. I wash them after the last, I wash them after everyone, but sometimes they need a little extra love. So we're gonna start with, I'm gonna start with this um, orangey yellow one because I feel like that is the one that will be the most contaminated if I, if I do it last. And um, I still don't have my vial set up, so I'm just gonna set this up to the side where you can't see it. This is from um, a Miss Casey, aka Tattooed Cat. Ooh, that's a pretty yellow. And um, I'm just gonna write Birmingham. I'll put the full name in there, but I'm just gonna put Daisy Lace on, on this card. That's the only problem I have with Birmingham inks is their Ooh, look what this did to, th it's another like highlighter water. That's awesome. Um, yeah, the only problem I have with Birmingham Pen Company inks is that the names are like so long. But, um, but the inks are so pretty. I was actually expecting this box to be here tomorrow, but 
I got the notification that it was delivered. So I went on my lunch break. I tried to, ooh, that's really bright and pretty. I tried to go on my lunch break, but I take a lunch break later and it seems like the post office is really busy. Um, when I take my later lunches, so I tried to go a little early. That is very bright and vibrant. It's like kind of highlightery, not like neon highlightery, just bright highlightery, but also like I feel like you can read that. That's awesome. Then we're going to do just next in the pile I have the Sport Donnelly Grass Stain. This is gonna make June so exciting. Oh, I need to write the name first. Fun. That is a pretty green. For some reason it's darker than I expected it to be. Maybe because it says grass I was expecting like, I don't know, a different green? Even though, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that is really pretty. That's a really nice green. Kind of reminds me of like a... It reminds me, okay, so this color scheme right here I know that I have talked about sports before. Um, hockey's my jam, but if I claim a baseball team, it's the Oakland Athletics, and green and gold are their colors, so. It's very spring and baseball-y. Um, yeah, baseball's not my jam. Um, I know some of you love it. At least one of you is like a big baseball person, and you like the opposite team of me, so. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, look at that. Like the yellow is not right, but also um, Green Bay Packers, if you football. And I'm sure that there are other teams out there that those are their colors, but let's see. We have a blue. What else do we have? Terracotta is probably like an orangey, ready brown. Those are, okay, we have another green. Okay, we have like two more greens, so we'll do the greens next and then we'll move on to the rest. Yay! Okay, what do we have? Another Birmingham. These Birmingham inks are so pretty and so affordable. Like, the only problem is trying to get them because they, um, ooh, that's pretty. That's, this color is kind of what I expected this one to be for some reason, I don't know why. Even though I've seen them on the website. How's your guys' day going? Apparently there's people outside doing yard work right now. Um, but that's okay. Um, it is much cooler today than it has been the last few days. Last few days have been um, high 90s, low 100s, and today I just went out and it was like 80 something and it felt like almost cold. Not cold, but you know, much, much cooler than the last few days. Very nice. It's a bright, happy green. Oh, 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 oh. don't touch that. Okay. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, Casey, for all of these. Um, oh yeah, I said I had one more green, so we're gonna do this green and then move on to the other four. I think between Casey and Ink Flights, I think I, or yeah, 
did I, I got a couple of these in ink flights. I think between Casey and ink flights, I've gotten every color of the like ordinary day, ordinary day series, I think is that what it's called. So thank you. Ooh, this is pretty too. It's fun to have these to play with. And I can't wait to see what I'm gonna pick in June. I have already, I can't remember if I said this in another video. I know that I've told like in talking to some people I've mentioned it, but I don't know if I mentioned it on video, but I have um, a pen friend ink picked out for when I ordered, I pre-ordered the new Twisby, the Twisby 580 ALR Prussian Blue. Um, I pre-ordered that from Lemur Ink and it's supposed to ship Friday, I guess. So if that comes in, it'll probably come in Monday or Tuesday. Um, if it ships on Friday, it'll come, it'll get here Monday or Tuesday. And then, so um, if it gets here Monday, Tuesday's pen will be that pen. And Tuesday's ink is gonna be one that I'm setting aside special because I think it'll look nice in that pen. Um, unless I get the pen in person and don't think that that's a good ink for it. Um, I mean, if I set it aside, it's only one or two days that it won't get picked. Um, I have a couple in mind actually, but the one that I'm setting aside, oh, that's pretty, it's like, olivey green but like I don't know that's an interesting color like it's olive green but the the text almost looks like kind of like brown or like I don't know it's different it kind of reminds me do I have no I moved everything again uh wait hold on No, I moved it. I moved my pen friend ring and it's all the way over there and I'm not gonna go get it. But this reminds me of like a greener version of uh, Pilot of Roshizuku Inoho. As it dries, it's looking more green, but the text still looks kind of like gold. That's pretty. And it looks like it's doing complex things. I love when inks do that. Very nice. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to flip this guy around. And I have one, two, three, four. I have four more inks and I have five more cards, so go me. Um, okay, I'm gonna do the brownie ones next. I'm gonna do Colorverse Coffee Break because we just went with the Colorverse ink, so I think that will be fun to do. Very pretty. It does kind of look like coffee. Not like black coffee, but black, like coffee with a splash of milk. I don't drink coffee. I guess it's more than a splash, but like, it's not like, uh, my coffee would be all like milk or creamer. Like, and then I'd be pissed that it tasted like coffee. So. So I've had one day this entire quarantine where I did not have any other caffeine choices and needed to drink coffee. And um, I guess because I don't drink coffee, like I only had to have like, I think I drank like not even a quarter of the cup <laughs> and um, was good to go. So yeah, but I just needed, I had a day where I just like stayed up way too late and um, only got like a couple hours of sleep, but it was after like days of a couple of hours of sleep. So yeah, that's really pretty. I love these like earthy tones. This is so pretty. This is definitely like a Casey color scheme and I am here for it. Uh, next up is Robert Oster, Oster, Oster Terracotta. which looks like it's a lovely kind of orangey color. Like it's a terracotta color. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. That's really pretty.
So what I wish I could do, and I can't do right now because it's in a completely different room, is compare this swatch to the burned orange, the infamous day 30 of April that I spilled all over the place. See how that compares? Um, maybe I'll do that after I film this. I'll get, I'll do a little extra video and um, add it to the end. They're definitely different orangey colors. This is more ready orange, kind of. But it would be nice to see them kind of all together. I actually still have that ink and a pen, but it is not at my current disposal. My um, setup area got a little discombobulated over the weekend, so I'm still trying to get everything completely back where it should be. So there we go. This is absorbent paper, but okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this Birmingham again. This Birmingham again, not again. I'm gonna do this Birmingham next. Birmingham, uh, George Ferris Jr. World's Fair Blue. Oh, that's pretty. Birmingham makes pretty blues. I mean, they just make pretty inks in general. I have so many ink samples to sample up. Ooh. pretty blue. It's like a pretty dark blue. Kind of navy a little bit. I like it. I like it. At least in the writing. I think that I will like this watch as well. If I'm that enamored with the with the writing. Most certainly not least, we have Papier Plume by Nightfall. It looks like that's a gray, maybe? Can't really tell. Or black, or something. Ooh, that's a pretty gray. mentioned it in the other video but I did order replacement nibs for my Moon Man Mini dip pen and those should be here sometime between now like between July and August it says which I think is ridiculous but I guess they have to come from wherever they come from probably China or wherever but, but that's fine they're on their way that's all that matters I have so many things like out in the world that I'm waiting on Ooh, pretty. I love it. I'm blaming the gray inks on creepy nibs because you know that he loves grays if you've watched his channel. And I feel like we've all kind of been swayed that direction except for the few of us that were already like obsessed with grays. Not like all of us, but like some of us, some of us have been swayed by the gray. So pretty, 
That one is so pretty. Oh. And it's like already doing interesting things as it dries. I love that. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna give these a second to dry and I'm gonna go see if I can find that burned orange card. I know where it is, so I'm, it won't be a problem. I'm gonna let these dry and then I will come back with um, the final swatch reveal and that comparison. Hold on one second. Hi everybody, I'm back. And um, before I show you the swatches, I just wanted to say, I think I can show this card. I'm not gonna show the inside, but look how cute this card is. It says, you, my friend, are the cat's pajamas and the kitten's mittens. Make sure that's in. How adorable is that? How adorable, it's stinking adorable. I am the cat's pajamas and the kitten's mittens. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you so much. And then also when I was moving stuff around, some stickers fell out of the letter and I think I could show this too. We have a shark, creep it real, spend your life doing strange things with weird people. And then I already showed you the washi tape and the, um, and these kitty stickers. And these are from Rebecca Danger and I don't know where she found this one. I don't know if it's Rebecca Danger as well or if it's just something that she found, but I love sharks because that's my hockey team. And these are amazing. This is awesome. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this video later on, like maybe Saturday or Sunday. Um, so I don't spoil potential duplicate things for other people. Um, Cause that's no fun. Um, like I don't mind being spoiled, but I don't wanna spoil other people. So um, we're gonna go ahead and show the inks. We have Donnelly Grass Stain Green. Make sure that's in frame it is. And then Prince Green Weenie, and then Colorverse Walk the Dog. And then also, I, this is the first one I did. This is Birmingham um, Daisy Lace. And then, um, then we have Coffee Break, and World's Fair Blue, and Papier Plume Nightfall, Bayou Nightfall. And then um, we also have a Robert Oster Terracotta, as you can see. That one just fit right in there. That's so pretty. Look how nice the look how nice that all looks together. Like blue and a kind of a gray e blue. And then like all these greens and oh, that's a very pretty color palette. And then because I wanted to show you how it looked next to terracotta, we have um, Robert Oster burned orange, which you will remember from April 30th where I spilled it everywhere if you've seen that video. If not, you should check out at least like minutes like from minutes five to seven or something like that because it's hysterical at least in my opinion and other people's opinions and then terracotta um yeah so this one is definitely like a ruddier orange and this is a, definitely a, a warmer orange i mean like orange is warm but like and then here's what it looks like next to coffee break just to throw a brown in there i think that's pretty so neat, awesome, thank you so much, Casey. I really appreciate all these samples and these are going in the box for June. Um, I need to film um, my intro video and um, also um, because the first is on a Monday, I'm probably gonna need to pick my ink unless I just wake up really early that day. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, so thank you again so much, Casey, for um, sharing these inks with me and um, yeah I look forward to um, talking to you all again very very soon and um, yeah I hope you have an excellent day and I will um, talk to you very soon take care love you bye